So there is a maze of tunnels under Las Vegas and people live in them. Heard a story of someone living in Paris, which is infamously built on hundreds of kilometers of limestone quarries, having a basement storage for the apartments above, where they kept their wine. There was a locked gate down there leading into pure darkness unmapped quarries which is not entirely uncommon. But someone was apparently entering the basement from the depths of the quarries and living off of food and wine stored by the residents. People can get lost for days without seeing the surface. Just a nightmare for me. We had a chapter in our history books about the dangers of uncontrolled capitalism at the end of the working class struggle. It showed pictures of Las Vegas mole people, New York underground heat shafts dwellers, train hopping hobos, job migrant workers who went north during the summer and south during winters for work in LA and cities. The Tint City picture was from late 2000s, I had that book in Eel right 2010s. I'm more surprised Americans learn about this today. I found out about these tunnels in a Louis Theroux documentary where a guy and his wife were living there spending everything on slots. It was the saddest thing I ever watched. Imagine an addiction that reduces you to that but one that never gets you high. It's just one miserable day of grifting after another and living like shit in that insane heat. At least with drug addiction you are high enough to forget for a few hours of every day. I went down to YouTube rabbit hole on this a few years ago. There's a couple that had a bunk bed down there so when the rain comes it would keep them dry. Well one day they got a lot of rain and the woman got swept away and the man tried to save her but he wasn't able to. This article gives his account of the incident and it's pretty sad. Every large city in the US learned to develop on artificially raised land, or it would not have become a large city. Tokyo's outer ring of storm sewers is insane. I'd post the video of it but the only one I know of is in Japanese. Seems like there should be a Tom Scott video about this. Saw one of these docks and ex-porn star Jenny Lee was living underground in Vegas. Had some bad teeth from probably a meth problem, but seemed pretty normal. Was wondering how many pervs went down there to rescue her. Decent idea for a comedy film. Someone in Vegas is going to monetize this, put a bunch of multicolored lights down there and call it to the spooky zombie tour. Tickets only $33. For children $12 and babies aged 0 to go free. Fun for all the family. I watched a show or documentary about these. They are even segregated based on your addiction turns out that heroin people are annoying to meth people, and vice versa. It makes sense, when you think about it. This is a pretty common occurrence in most cities. They are often called tunnel people or mole people, based off the name of the homeless in NYC that live in the abandoned subway lines. This was called a conspiracy for a long time because the city is embarrassed about not being able to handle it. Same goes for the zombies cooking meth in the trees at national parks. I was climbing cell towers a few years back in Vegas. In a two hour time frame I saw at least 20 people go in and out of this huge drainage tunnel it was unreal very Futurama vibes. These are canals. So lots of people live in them though they can flood. Also most major cities that have undergrounds will have people who live there. Like Rio or NYC. Yes, when I was part of the 2020 census, one of the tasks was to go into the tunnels and count people. Thank god I worked in the office and not in the field. I was in Vegas a couple years ago and there was a really bad storm that came through, as I remember a bunch of those people drowned because it flooded so fast. Can definitely recommend watching a video on YouTube living 25 years in a train tunnel mole people interview. Very informative and thought provoking. How else could you be homeless in Las Vegas summer and not die on the streets? Some Russian cities have underground hells too. Stay warm I guess. Jenny Lee the ex-porn star lived down there. It's extremely sad. She was so gorgeous. This world is filled with rot. My uncle was one of those people for a while. Last update from my dad is he's at an extended stay motel in Wyoming. Don't do drugs, kids. I remember a sad documentary that showed former porn star Jamie Lee living in the tunnels after she became a drug addict. Anyone know what happened to Jenny Lee, the ex-porn star that lived there? Curious to know if her life got better. Dark Days is a good documentary on people living in tunnels under New York. Free on a couple streaming services. There isn't a maze of tunnels. There are some scattered storm drains throughout the city for monsoon season. Today I learned the big city has a network of utility tunnels and homeless people use them to take shelter. There is a book called Beneath the Neon that is a really good read about folks dwelling in the tunnels. Not surprising. Every city that has a bunch of underground tunnels has people living in them. There's a few docs about this on YouTube. I was equally as shocked learning about this. These people will survive the worst of global warming and will lead the new world. There's a former porn star who lives under lives. 
She may have died. Today you learn most cities have underground tunnels and people live in them. Met a dude there who used to live in them. He has some cool stories. Objects found in the tunnels. It's a manky sandal not an SCP. I wonder if they get a heads up when the next flash flood comes. Reminds me of those underground city dwellers in Demolition Man. I mean, much better than living in above ground Vegas, right? These people also lived down there in 2281 in New Vegas.